eight ball. Go ahead. Eight ball championships are a race to eight, not nine. Race to eight. Finals will be a single race to ten. Uh, alternate break. Rack your own. BCA rules. BCAPL rules. It's the CSI rules. This is a CSI okay. event. We have Chris Robinson versus Mitch Ellerman. Mitch just came off a great tournament, coming in third place in the U.S. Open 10 ball championship. A lot of people ask uh, George about the difference between BCA and BCA Pool League. The BCA Pool League is part of CSI, Q Sports International. This is a Q Sport International uh, production. BCA is the Billiard Congress of America, part of the World Pool Association. They have their own set of rules, the original set of rules of 19, from 1948, pretty much. <laughs> They've they undergone a lot a of evolution, but the CSI rules are slightly different. The biggest difference is the, uh, if you scratch on the break, ball it's ball in hand all, uh, anywhere on the table. WPA rules, BCA rules are actually different. So we are under CSI rules, or the BCA Pool League rules. And our opponents in the match, our gladiators that are fighting <laughs> in the arena. Mitch Ellerman versus Chris, Chris Robinson. Robinson. Both uh, Moscone Cup candidates. Chris is a young gun. Mitch is uh, on somewhat of a renaissance. Renaissance? Well, he's he's here to stay. <laughs> uh, Chris is a 719 Fargo, as uh, Mitch is a 744. Chris is here last year also, a young gun. Mm -hmm. One of the new young guns. Future of pool, future, future, future. Uh, this is where Shane was uh, <laughs> 10 years 10 ago, years 15 ago years so. ago. We're off and running with a big break here. Does that break look, a little, rack look a little? No, this looks, we, am I doing that again still? It Maybe, still looks, just keep on from leaning. My angle, keep on leaning towards keep the monitor. Leaning. Well, this was a big break. Made a ball. It is open after the break. This is not take what you make. It's not take what you make. I, uh, you know, those the rules going to play. These guys are going to be running a lot of racks. Uh, a couple of years ago, we uh, fortunate enough to commentate a perfect match. Wasn't that an eight ball? Yes, it was an eight ball. That was Josh Roberts and Shane Van Boney. Yeah, uh, the, on the, the smaller tables. Yeah. The one mistake was Josh scratching in the side, on, getting kicked into the side off the break. That was the only mistake made. All other Everything else was run. Meanwhile, these guys. Well, Chris that. here is up, and he's looking, he's looking at solids, I think. I think so. I mean, um, the solids are favored here, but you see the three, four. Wow. If you can make the four ball without touching anything, the three ball goes. The three problem four. is the four ball is very, very tight. I don't know if you can see a ball, the five ball. I don't think it goes by. We had a, we had a different cam <laughs> right. camera angle. It didn't go by. It didn't go by. So the, so the uh, solids are pretty tight. He's only got one, one problem ball for the stripes. Yeah. So he's, he's got he's two got, areas. He's got to play with the stripes now, and, and uh, he's going to hope to get on that stripe, the 15 by the four ball at some point. That would be his tough, tough shot. He's coming pretty far down. He's got two balls to the side pocket that he can uh, deal with. He's going to play that 11 ball now, I believe, and just bunt out the, four the, the 15. 15. Mm. And once he does that, if he, got a sh if he gets a shot on the 12 ball, I think he's going to go over here and take a look to see if he can make the 12 ball. I have to believe he's going to break that, that 15 ball out now. Yes, there you go. Mm -hmm. I think he'd like to play position for the 12 ball. I think that's what it gives him if he moves that uh, 15 up to the side pocket. Yep, and he's straight in on the 12. Oh, don't do this. So he, well, uh, you know, in choosing <laughs> just break it out, he really just needed to bunt that out. Yeah, he moved it from one problem area to, to another. another. The one good thing about the problem area he's at now, he's looking at a bank at it. So he's right. at an easier bank, a uh, fairly easy bank. You can play shape for it. You know, the lovely thing about it is he tied up two, two of his opponent's balls, so mm -hmm. he, he'll be free to bank without sellout. Well, he's going to get rid of the traffic here, so when he does bank that uh, 15 ball, he'll be straight in on the 8. He might save it for the Well, you think he'll save it for the end? I do. I think he's going to go all or nothing on the last. 
Hmm? Yeah, it's, 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 it's either that or you'll shoot it right after these two and play position for the 10 ball, which is at the lower right hand uh, part of your screen, uh, and then go to the eight from there. Let's see how he handles this, uh, this problem ball. Most eight ball scholars would say handle it immediately. Yeah, you want to get rid of the problem balls earlier rather than later, but he's mm -hmm. put himself in a position where he may have to be forced to play it later. Put it all on the last ball, which wouldn't be such a bad idea. He's, you know, George, you've been calling those side pocket banks all the time. Well, these guys do a lot better job at banking, and it's consistent because these are the diamond tables. So. Well, most bank pool players prefer banking balls to the side pocket. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a bigger pocket. The angle reads better. I mean, it's just... Uh, I don't know if the angle reads better, but uh, it's just a, it's a bigger pocket. And that ball is close to the rail and not on the rail, so sp it's not as speed sensitive. And he's giving himself the perfect angle so he can stiff the ball up and, and draw the cue ball uh, for position uh, on the eight. Yeah, he'd rather not bump that six more. Yeah, he doesn't want to touch those balls. People playing this shot, though, have a tendency of double kissing it, but he won't. He's, he's lined up real nice for this ball. Jin. Mm -hmm. You know what set this up is that he really had a monster break. I mean, all these guys yes. break him so hard now. Now, I recall Mitch winning an Arizona State 8-ball championship years ago. I think it was 2008. one nothing. Chris Robinson. Break and, and run. And that was on the big table, not a, not a, not a bar box or a 7-footer. He also uh, has won a U.S. Uh, is it the the one that they have in Reno? Which 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 it's, it's which the bar is table championship? Bar table championships. Yeah. Years and years ago, about the same time period. Years and years ago, it seems only like yesterday. Beat Jose Parica in the finals. El double dipo. That's a feat that very 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 few players can claim. Mm. Parika was a great player. You know, next to Efren, uh, for quite a while, he was one of the best Filipinos that came over. <laughs> Jose Parika was the best was? player. Okay. He well, was the number go. one player in the Philippines when uh, Efren was younger. Uh, Jose Parika was the leader of the Filipino invasion, the first to come to the United States from the Philippines. Yeah, I knew you'd have something to say on that because you're <laughs> very well versed on, versed on that. I think that uh, overall they say that Efren had a losing record against Jose. Mitch broke dry. And oh, it, it could be. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. Both balls are fairly open. I think he's just going to choose the one he likes, uh, the, the first one that's easy. I don't believe any ball is really tied up, even though the two balls in the center of the table, the two stripes, the 14 and the 15, are probably as tough as balls, but that's just inventing something at this point. So you'll, you figure he'll choose the set that... Um, has the, op uh, the first the open shot? shot. Yeah. First open shot. First easier shot. I believe and it's going to be the six ball. Both, I believe, 12 and six go. Let's see if he shoots the six ball and tries to slide on over for the seven two. Just got to be careful of the skid here because of the way that ball has to come through. It's going to be sliding in. It is the six he's chosen, not the 12. He just gets to hope, hopes he gets on something, which he's he did. On he's on the three. The four, I don't think, passed the one, but now it's <coughs> driving the car, right? He's probably going to go two rails for position on the one. I really like Chris's game. Or just one. Nice sorry. form. Good view of it right there. Yeah, yeah he did go two rails. Oh, oh, he, he got didn't back for he didn't, didn't need, that. need that bump, so now he's got to work a bit now because the four ball no longer goes, and he has to play the five ball in the very thin, thin, small, uh, small, small window. I know we talked about this last year, George. By far, eight ball is uh, is my favorite game to uh, commentate. <laughs> There's a lot more to talk about, you know. Yep. It's not hey, that one ball is after the two, well, two balls after the one ball. You know, well, there's there's a lot more choices when you're out there other than the next ball. <clears throat> He's chosen to play the seven past the 13. 
I don't know if that ball goes. These pockets are so tight. Do you think he's trying to follow this ball in? Because from where we sit, the seven does, <coughs> does not pass the 13. He'll use the rail. He'll come off the rail into the 13. Yeah. Or just right into it. He had plenty of room. It did go. And but he, he, he really nibbled the two. He let it go. Yeah. He, he nibbled the two ball against the rail and took away his next shot. You know, when he bumped that 10, it sort of spelled his doom on this rack. He started mm -hmm. to have to really have to work. Because then he couldn't get on the one ball, well, which was open. The four ball couldn't go anywhere. It started when it started when he uh, missed position by bumping the ten exactly. on the one. Yeah, exactly. the three, and uh, got behind the four, and then it went downhill from there. Mitch doesn't mind because now he can <laughs> come to the table with everything out of the way. Looks like he's trying to hang a ball someplace, make a ball someplace. He hung a ball. He hung a ball. Not bad because nope. now he covers that and Mitch will have to spend time doing something over there unless he can break it out. The nine ball doesn't go there past there either unless it slides past the four. He'll look at that and he's looking That's at what that now. That's exactly yep. what he's looking That's at. That's right. The 13 can be banked, but it's still a small, it's a small pocket because of the two ball. Just try to cinch this ball and take the next, see where he, where he is. This will be a little strategic game. We play the nine He's ball past the four ball. If it goes, it goes. If it doesn't go, then he'll try to take over the pocket, so to speak. He did call the nine ball. This probably goes easily, too. Uh-oh, this kiss Don't is going to hurt him. Oh, boy. Oh, oh he's all right. He's I guess okay. he's okay. And no, he's, he's got, got two play. balls to the side right. pocket. Yeah, he's in shape. I thought when he was going to kiss that ball, he was going to go right in the drink. It certainly looked like it. He's got to just hold himself together here, which he's showing he can. This is Mitch's home room, so um, he uh, does get to play on this table at will. Not when they call him up for a U.S. Open match. <laughs> Normally plays on the table next to it, it's which really is smaller really pockets. Interesting here because every ball's wide open, but it's not a, it's not a simple throw in out. See here, he has to take a shot and go four rails around, three rails around. Well, and then he'll have to do it again here. The 13, 11, just play a little funny. Just enough funny. I, I don't. I like this where he gets rid of the ball that's in the center of the table. You never want the center ball in the center of the table as your last ball before the eight ball. If there's other, especially when there's other balls on the table. Now he picked that one apart pretty clean. Yes, he did. He'll stand up, play the eight in the side, and right where his cue stick is. I think my favorite shot in that is the shot he shot up table and went two, three rails around because most people won't, won't, be, uh, won't want to do that, but he knew how tricky it was if he left it there. Mm. You mean the way he traveled the ball for position? Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot of people think that eight ball is a small, small table type of sh game, and it, it, oftentimes it isn't. Every single rack is lightly, slightly different. Mm hmm And oftentimes in a race to eight or ten, it's picking the right shots. It's going to win you one or two more games in a race of ten. And if everybody's good, oftentimes it's choosing the right patterns is what the difference is. Unless you're Shane Van Boning, where it's just like he just <laughs> monsters everything in. Of course, Shane is one of the best eight ball players I've ever seen anyway, yeah, tactic-wise. He's, he's the one with the perfect match <laughs> that, yeah. we, that, that we uh, commentated. There were 39 entrants in, in, in this U.S. Open. This is, of course, we're racing to eight on the nine-foot tables. Sponsored by the Real Hotel Suites and Casino, Simona's Cloth, Cyclop Balls, Acme Cases, Predator 1080 Pure Chalk, and Diamond Products. Chris had a huge break last time. I suspect he'll continue with that trend. Good view is break and his break uh, procedure. Boy, well, he comes up. Pretty big. Yeah. And this time, no balls in. And oh. the result, low balls look terrible. Oh, he did make a ball, so he must be. No, he's looking. No, he didn't. Okay. Yeah, it didn't look like he did, then suddenly he was looking as if he was going to do something like that. There's shoot. no real opening shot, Freddie. 
He's going to have to cross side 13. That's the only opening he's got. He's got Mitch a bank doesn't, shot. He didn't take any time at all in ca calling this. <laughs> <laughs> no strategic moving. And he made Uses it. Uses nine yeah. ball. That's a f he was going clean for that, but the nine ball provided a little bit of help for him. Nudge. What a difference here because uh, now the stripes are wide open. I yep. mean, as wide open as it needs to be. And getting to the f 14 is going to be the tough, the tough shot. He may shoot the 12 ball and slide down. He is. And he can play the nine if he doesn't have the 12 ball now, I guess. The 12, nine to the side is awfully difficult. Every shot in that side pocket seems impossible. <laughs> <laughs> well, this one is going to be going in pretty soft. Now he's got a shot at that uh, 14 ball. Yeah. He really solved it. You know, that first bank, he solved it. Sure. Now it's just execution. Well, it's easier first, said than done, but. The first bank was his only shot. It was only a shot. He was forced to shoot it. And, and it's fortunately that, that the only shot he had was on the set that, um, that uh, was well spread because there's a little bit of problem with the 1-5 one, one there. This is one of those uh, too many ways type of thing. He could shoot the 10 or the 11. Mm-hmm. And draw this ball to the side rail. If he had a choice, he'd want to get that 10 ball, the 15 out of there, which he did. Yeah, he needs. I mean, it's a subtle thing, but it'll be the broken record that if you leave that ball in the side pocket, we will see, see people leave that ball in the side pocket and really, really be scratching their heads. It, you well, said it actually a lot of times in the, in the 10 ball. Because, be, because uh, the shape to the, the, the shape is harder to play. If you get on the wrong side of it, you can have, you can have a hard time. Uh, it doesn't take much to ball. get out of the uh, out of line. Out of line, exactly. Side. And you have to travel the cue ball for position. We were distracted by Mike Massey, Mike Massey doing some, oh, my, my, my. Well. Well, the good thing is, wow, doesn't really have a shot. He really and he's hung, up the, he's hung up the eight ball where it can't be played past it. Um, he can hook the cue ball all he wants <laughs> on the eight. He can hook, you know, hook him on the eight, but Mitch still has a kick shot. Kick shot at it. And he, Chris will be gambling that Mitch follows it in, but... His only way to get to the pocket will not be able to follow it in. He'll have a free shot. That's right. Hope I explained that properly. <laughs> I, think, <laughs> I think the whole world can see it. This is how bad it is. He's forced to play a triple combination straight up the rail in a tight pocket. And try, there's no there's no place to hide this cue ball. He's gonna hold, yeah, well, he's he, hold it right there. Made the ball. Amazing, amazing. Now he wants to find his way over to... <laughs> The, um, the where high, the eight the ball is. Exactly. Oh, this is pretty exciting, isn't it? If he can get there, I think the five ball, can he hit the five ball and just slide on over for two and then maybe play behind those balls and then draw two, over? Right? Yeah, he can. He can. There you go. Mitch is this is very doable. Yeah, Mitch is probably a little sick there because it, it seemed like to play a, to play a three, uh, three ball combination straight up the rail like that probably seems pretty low percentage in him that ball went in. Tough to be critical here, but it's surprising that he doesn't attack over there. Maybe he's doing that right now. He's going to attack it right here because he's going to pocket this ball and come down. I'm, I'm thinking he's going to come down for the for the seven ball or the deuce, either one. I don't think the four goes by the deuce. Right. Uh, so I think it's either the seven or the two. And then when he makes that, yeah, he's coming all the way down. That's nice. That's nice. He's just right. If the four goes, well, he wouldn't shoot the four. So no, the, he the problem is he doesn't want to get too. He, he the, needs to get that four ball out of there. Uh, he'll take the two ball next. There you go. He bumped the four ball out mm -hmm. of there, so it gets a little easier to get on the, on the four. Mm -hmm. He's, he can he shoot it shoot, out of the he corner. He may shoot yeah, it now. Exactly. And this actually, well, he's got a nice angle to get to the five anyway. Right. And 
and with the five ball, with no balls left on the table and the eight balls hanging in the pocket, now it doesn't matter if he shoots the five <laughs> ball on the side. He doesn't have to worry about shape. That's, that's right. right. Well, Mitch hanging up that eight ball didn't do him any favors. Exactly. Didn't do himself any favors. Catch the rail here first because the ball's fairly deep. Nope, he's shot straight at it with a stun shot. Two to one. Two to one, Chris Robinson. Well, actually, you know what I just noticed? On, on all the lags, on all the lags that, um, that Mitch had in the 10 ball championships, he didn't lose one that we saw. And he's yet, lost one here. He's lost one here. Patrons at Griff's are getting a treat. You can hear some cheers in the background. Tennessee Tarzan, Mike Massey, sitting right next to us doing a little trick shot demonstration. I guess he was bored. He wanted to just get up and do something rather than watch the eight ball. You know, anytime he's going to be around pool table, people, people are going to ask him, can you do a shot here to a big bomb of a break? Oh, balls are, ball oh. balls are dying to go in, unfortunately. Along with the cue ball. The cue ball also. Along with the cue ball, not a good thing. Yeah. Well, if we take a look at the 13 and 5, it looks like the, the low balls would be the favored. So you'd start with the one ball, which is the only trouble ball for the low balls. He's got ball in hand. If you choose to use the high ball, then you're saying that the 13 isn't all that difficult to get to, but... I don't really know about that. Well, the, thir the 13, if he's got ball in hand here, he can take care of it right now by shooting the 12 and yeah. breaking it out. He's got insurance shot on the 11 for shape, insurance shape. I'd be surprised if he doesn't shoot this one ball in the corner pocket. Everything else goes. <laughs> there you go. Thank you, Chris. Don't make, uh, don't make me question you. <laughs> <laughs> When's he going to shoot the five? He may shoot it from next. the four. He needs the deuce out of there, so. Oh, no. He's, yeah, yeah, he has to shoot the five now. I think yeah, that's what he was trying case. to shoot. The deuce is his concern here, so if he just punches it out without getting on the seven, he solved the rack. He solved the rack by shooting the one ball anyway, but this was the trick part of this rack, of this rack. Five to the two. You'd rather have a couple more feet to go. On that. <laughs> a couple more revolutions, is right. Because now he's spinning. Well, he's, if he spins it, he's probably going to spin it up for the four. Yeah, he just doesn't want to move that 11 ball close yeah. to the four. Or he doesn't he, need to. Or is he going to come between the, the eight, eight, seven? Yeah. Eight. Or eight, 11, I guess. Is it the 11 ball over there? Oh, eight the seven. Wow, yeah. that's, that's, quite yeah. a, that's quite a needle to thread. His angle they good for it. Mm -hmm. He bumped the eight. I guess uh, I don't think he needed to, but he did anyway. Now he's got to pound this in and go straight across, or does he just slide down? No, I think he goes straight across. He goes across. Because uh, if, he, if he's coming down for it, uh, he's in trouble. He can come down too far. Nice job. Of course, he still has to make this, but he worked the rack pretty well. Even though he bumped the eight ball, he still took out the right balls. He knows his patterns. He does know his patterns. That's some good eight ball play so far out of the young Chris mm -hmm. Robinson. Nice job. Three to one and breaking. There's a good look. It was his, a nice, nice cue that he has there. It's a pretty cute. What is he playing with? 
Oh, I wish we asked him. We, so do I. <laughs> We're eyeing his cue, folks. You see the bottom ring on there uh, on the on the plate on the bottom. It's for an extension. So when he, he needs an extension, he just kind of comes over and screws it right in real quick and puts it away when he's done. Got a couple of inlays on the points. And he leads three to one over Mitch Ellerman in a race to eight. First match, first round match of the 2018 U.S. Open Eight Ball Championships. So far, he's had a monster breaks. Yep. Here we go. Good view of Griff's Bar and Billiards, along with our sponsors along the back. 25 TVs. And it goes 15. Or that was the 11 ball, was it? No, it, was the, it must have been the 13. It was one of those balls that right the end of the corner. Well, he really doesn't have a shot in the high ball, so low balls is going to be it. And the low balls are open enough. The two ball into the side pocket is probably the whole trick of this rack. Not exactly easy. Well, he's looking at a high ball there, but he doesn't have a high ball to start with, does he? Unless he plays the combination on the uh, 10 to the 14. I can't tell George, is he straight in the one on the side? It, it, it looks like he's, he can play that. He can also play the seven or the six. Yeah. But he, he might be liking that, uh, that 10, four, 15. Tough shot. Well, he's looking at it, isn't he? Yeah, he keeps looking that way. If he can see it, he's probably going to play it, but it looks awfully tight. And the 15 is quite a ways out of the pocket. It's not, yeah, it's it's not, not a hanger. hanger. It's not a hanger. Not a hanger. It's out where if he hits the right side of it, it won't go in. Seven ball in the corner. Nice shot. shot. Nice shot. The problem with that two ball is that the five and three are down table, and you kind of have to get rid of both of them before you get to the two, or you get rid of one of them, and you go to the two, then the, that other ball is still there. He's going there next. He's taking the three ball past the 15, or the five ball. And in shooting this, he's either going to play shape on the five ball or shape on the two ball. He tickled it. No, he I think he got away with it, though. He's scratching. You know, look, he doesn't, I don't know if he's old enough to grow a beard, but he's trying to scratch at it. And the two sits very, 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 very uh, difficult. Is uh, Chris from Ventura? Is yes. that where he's from? That's mm -hmm. the same place as Jerry McWhorter, cue maker extraordinaire. And I'm, we're being told that that must be what his cue is. That is what it is. As soon as, as soon as I received a text telling me that Chris has a McWhorter, I remembered ooh, him ooh. saying in Phoenix he, that he's sponsored he, by McWhorter and plays with one. Nestled that baby in. Gonna come up with a tricky uh, position here. No, dead straight. So that's probably that's that's pretty good. You can just draw straight back if he's dead straight. He wants to draw between the side pocket and the uh, uh, 14 ball. Ah, so he does have the angle here. Mm -hmm. I think he wants to hit the the rail just above the side pocket. And let it just kind of coast and down. Let it coast just a little down. Bit. No, he wants to. Uh -oh. oh, he's gonna come down. He oh, he came just right. I would, have just thought, right. I would have thought the rail first also, but he saw the angle and shot yeah. it down there. That's, that's a pretty professional shot there. Good good control. Very good good speed control there. And again, another pattern where he's really, he, he 
absolutely recognize where he's got to be, mm -hmm. what ball he's got to shoot. Wow. And got through. I like it. Four to one. And not only did he recognize where he has to be, he was able to execute it. He had a couple of tricky shots. This is a good eight ball. He's not powering it. He's uh, finessing it. And we thank some of our viewers out there. Uh, they can provide us with information uh, uh, with the text or however they can get it to us. It's about the only way they can get it to us, huh? <laughs> Sometimes we can't get to it. But thank you, Doug Preston. Well, Mitch Hillerman to break the balls here, trailing by three games. Chris is halfway there. Big break, but nothing is going in. There goes. Oh, something. the four rails. I'm surprised the ball got through all that traffic. This one isn't as quite as, uh, as wide open here, but there's enough balls. The nine ball and the six ball both create sort of like a straight pool breakout. You never have to smash it. I mean, he can take them out. He can actually shoot this 11 ball and open up the... If he chooses to, he can go right into uh, his problem balls. But will he be guaranteed a shot? <laughs> right. I don't question. think you want to be loosely going into these. I don't think he would be. He can come off the 11, hit the bottom rail, and nibble the, the 14 on the side, giving himself a shot on the 13. 13. He's playing He's the go 10 ball, so, so he likes the high balls. And you know, now that we, we can take a look at this, he can actually pick these balls clean. Yes, he can. The 13 passes the, the 14. 14, and therefore... Mm -hmm. He can get on it right now. Yep. Right and after this ball, he can get And then the 14 right goes to the right pocket once the 13's out of the way. Sure. He, he didn't get the angle to get to bump the eight. He, doesn't, he might not he, have he to. He doesn't need to. He can pick them yeah. clean. If he's straight in, he's going to draw straight back. In fact, why not draw straight back for the nine ball? Oh, he had an angle to, to get to the nine ball. And you go it's the perfect. other way? It's perfect. Wants an angle, so he comes back for this 14. There it is. One rail up. 11 ball in the corner after. Oh, he's going to go two rails. He better go. <laughs> he's got to get up on the straight. upside. He's dead straight. He well, he's he's got to see where he wants to put this ball then. He's going to have to come straight back and give himself a little harder shot on the eight. Is he cheating the pocket? No, he's coming straight back. Straight back. And he's taking a shot on the eight. He wanted to go up a little higher on that 11 ball so he could come around. Do anything he wanted yeah, to, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But you know what? That was a really excellent run out. Ball, those balls are awfully close together there, and he picked them clean without having to break out. Cherry picker. Yep, exactly right. Well, now it's a different style of run out there. Well, got him a game. Four to two, Chris Robinson to break. So far, this has been an excellent eight ball match. It's all run outs. You're not going to see too many safeties. Big match for both these guys, actually. It's possible they may be teammates. That'd be nice. Mm -hmm. You know, we need some new blood. Two clean cut young men. Well, interesting with the magic uh, ball rack, the eight ball magic rack. He re racked. How do you normally rack eight ball, George? How do I normally rack it? Yeah. Uh, 
one ball on the spot and then a stripe and a solid behind it. That's what I do. And then kind of alternate. And, uh, and alternate all the way through, correct. Yeah. And then on, on the spot where you have the, on the side where you have the, the solid, the next one's a stripe, the next one's a solid, yeah. alternate. Yeah, the way so I do it, it, it probably sounds exactly the same, that if you drew a line from the one ball straight down to the, the, the middle ball of the fifth rack, everything to the left and to the right are actually equal and opposite, like a mm -hmm. solid's on one side, mm -hmm. stripe on the other side type of thing. I see, I see players alternate, like right behind the one ball, the, the head ball. Yeah. They'll put two stripes and then two solids and yeah. then two stripes. That's the bar room. Solids. That's the bar room way to do. Is that what it is? Yeah, and then you yeah. have you have a solid in each corner, and it's like, right. well, that's exactly what you Which don't want. Which is what want. you don't want. And so and then you'll flip the other two. The CSI rules and the, the world standardized rules as well yeah. require that the bottom two corners have to be different suits. Mm -hmm. Just you, as you see, you. Chris there. Chris is loading up the left side. You see all those solids on the left corner of the rack. Thump. He's got to get a shot here. Oh, 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 this is going to be a tricky rack now. Since these are CSI rules, the eight ball does not count on the break. It does count on the break, so it would be a uh, option to re-rack and break or just spot up. Mm -hmm. The eight. Tricky rack here because the 13 is covered by the six and the the uh, two ball is pseudo covered by the 12. So neither ball has an advantage. Pseudo covered? Pseudo covered. <laughs> if, if one had an advantage, I would, I would say that. Does that mean it wears a suit? Yes, that's right. <laughs> it wears a suit. Oh, wait, 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 wait. That <laughs> word starts with a P, right? <laughs> well, he's already ready to shoot. No, he's not. Wait, oh my goodness, is he really going to get cut down the, there? Cut the five on the side? Is that what he's doing? He is, but what's he what's he going for here afterwards? Uh, no, it's a, it's a, I don't know what to shoot, so I'll just let you try it. You mean he didn't call that bank? <laughs> <laughs> that bank came off the side pocket. Uh, did point? It, it double point to point. <laughs> I think and so. Then, something and then it there. went between the, the ten and the eight for the corner. Yeah, this rack is not going to be an easy one. I mean, if somebody, if he gets out, if, if he's going to do a lot of work. Um, he really has to get on this 14 ball good to get on, to open up the 11. He's trying to open it up now, and he did. He did, what a shot. That's work. Great shot, Mitch. That's, what, that, that's the rack here that solves this rack. Yeah. Yeah. If he couldn't do that, he would have had to had to play a, just the right angle on the, on the on the 14 ball or the 15 ball to open that up. Interesting. He's just a little short on all three balls. Probably shoot the nine ball, but uh -huh. I don't know. And there's no probably about here. There's I don't know who knows what he's going to shoot. <laughs> I think I would shoot the 14 ball. But either one, he's going he's going to get shaped because the nine oh, ball the can nine come goes. next. The nine, the nine goes there. So here, yeah. I like it. He just pockets this, comes forward a little bit. Actually, he just stops it there. Stop it. Either one. Mm. He'll come up in line with the three, probably. Or he won't even come close to the three. He's going to stay on this side so that yeah. it can't hinder his play. And he closes the gap to one game. Yeah, he's coming and across here, or is he going to go below it and out? Now that he's stretched out, it looks like he'll go below it and out. Remember what I said before he does that? When he's stretched out, he only single pumps it like he feels uncomfortable about it. I mean, he delivers the cue great. Well, he's he, in an uncomfortable position, yeah, so he so hurries the stroke. Right, right. <laughs> well, either way, it, it, he gets to mark up a game, and I believe he he's gets breaking. to break. Yeah, he's breaking because Chris, Chris won the, the lag. Yeah, Chris probably put that... that cue ball in one of the worst spots because it allowed Mitch to break out the only one problem ball mm -hmm. on mm -hmm. the only set he could shoot at. Well, I don't <laughs> know that it allowed him. I think he Englished that ball yeah, and, yeah. and risked miss, missing the ball because oh, it was a slow, yeah. it was still slow inside it was, English. It was, still, yeah. it was still work to get yep. that ball uh, to break there. He, he had to work. And, and he, that was a good, good shot. Good shot. Once Earned him the game. And, and, and good result. I mean, yeah. uh, he didn't have to have a shot after he bumped into those balls to break them out. But he did, and he got right out pretty easily. Earned him the game. Okay, we're going to take a break here.
Mitch is kind of fussy about uh, keeping his hands clean. I'm, and I say that in a joking manner. Please don't think that I'm being critical. <laughs> as Gladiator comes back in the arena. Hmm. The balls are racked. He's ready to break. That's interesting because he racked the balls, then he went, and then he came back. It almost feels like you need to rack the balls right now. Not for any other reason other than... That's how you normally do it? Right, right. <laughs> you usually rack the balls and break them, not rock the balls and take a break, and then come back and break them. Make sure nobody messes with your rack. <laughs> yeah, somebody might have touched the... So now you guys know that when you're playing Mitch, <laughs> if he goes to the bathroom, he racks the balls first. Move the ball. Move the balls. <laughs> Four to three, Mitch is caught up here and breaking to tie it. Smacked him. Smacked him flat. Nothing on the break. Nothing on the break. And this one isn't as wide open either. One ball is a bit tricky. Obviously, the 12 balls buried. Those are your problems. Do you think it's harder to make a ball in the break uh, on eight ball than it is in 10 ball? Hmm. That's a very interesting question. I, I haven't seen any data or I haven't heard anyone well, speak to that one way or another. But you're an ex eight ball expert, uh, you know. And I would say that they're both the same because they're the pyramid rack. The tricky part is getting a solid rack. And when you do that, and those two balls behind the one and then the corner ball that goes around the table are pretty much the, the balls that always go. Mm -hmm. You would think with all these balls that it'd be easier. Balls. Yeah, that, but you easily see dry breaks all the time in, in, uh, in, in eight ball. Sure. No, oh, yeah, and, and believe me, because playing eight ball on the big table, the dry, big, the dry break is not uncommon. Well, not uncommon. And it, even, it on a small a table, even on a small yeah. table. Yep. You would think that there's no way, there's not enough room for the balls to stay in the, stay out of the hole. Something has to go. I mean, uh, yeah. especially on the seven foot table, uh, you know, when you go with the linear inches, yeah, 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 uh, yeah the yeah, open distance. space is uh, about seven percent of making a ball, and you got 15 balls rolling around. It's interesting that Chris is not playing some kind of carom on the one because the one really doesn't go anywhere. Even if we have ball in hand, you'd have to be behind the one on the short side, I think. I don't know that you can make the one ball anywhere else. I might be getting fooled here. He may try to tickle the 12 right here. Low left-hand English, tickle the 12, and he missed it. Well, I, I <laughs> he just wants another not opportunity to it, but it looks like that's what he was trying. He'll have another opportunity in a second, but... The three ball. Oh. I just have one question. Why didn't he start out with a seven ball, get on to three, give himself the angle to do that, and come over? Yeah, something like, like that. Something in the, like that. In the end, I think like he was trying to sh tickle the do 12, now. but the four ball didn't even go in, so now Mitch can take a look at this and see if he can just run out. The table is open to him. The table is open, and he's. I think he's forced to shoot the high balls. Forced to shoot the high balls, and because Chris hung the four, the 11 ball, the red stripe ball, is the one that's a problem, doesn't go anywhere. I don't even know if it goes in the side pocket. 
No, it doesn't. He's taking care of the 12, that's for sure. Now yeah. the nine ball's a problem. <laughs> yeah, this rack is all crazy now. No, but he can take care of the nine ball right here. But I think everything else is a problem down yeah, there. Yeah, the 11, 11 ball's, ball's a, problem. a problem. The 12 ball's a problem. The, the four I mean, ball blocks two balls. Total yeah. advantage to the low balls. Oh, this is nice. I love this shot. Oh, he really needed to make that ball feed. It looked like he was trying to actually make that. The way that was swinging, he had a good shot at making the four, which solves a lot of a lot of things. Well, now he's only got one shot, and that's his ten ball. Yeah. Does it? Does he send it at the nine ball? He sends it at the something. He sends it at something. Does he dare put just a hair of inside to touch uh, to hit the twelve ball? Because the twelve was a problem also. Mm -hmm. I I think that's a better shot than going after the nine ball because. Well, either way, he's not guaranteed a shot. That's right. He's not That's guaranteed right. a no guarantee. Uh, he's not, no guarantee of a shot. There's no uh, no no true insurance on this shot. And in you, this position. Uh, yeah, it's a let's just shoot them. And now, what he's done is cleared it all up, and Chris should run out. Oh, he's missed. So okay. Yeah, everything's open. That was a tough, tough one. Well, it's pretty clear for Chris. Yeah, he's not many play problems this, here at all. Play this with the with the rake. It's funny, you know, saying the one ball, the low balls are definitely the advantage. But the moment he shoots this one ball, there's no more advantage. He's got to get out. Well, the eleven ball still a problem, but it can be shot up, up upstream. Right, right. And now he's opened this up, <laughs> so, so he's going to leave the nine ball as his problem, which can be banked. Yeah. So I will retract because of exactly what you said, that the low balls are still the advantage, but oh, sure. not much because the because you can bank the mm -hmm. nine ball because you can get it down table. But I would expect Chris to get out here. It's so easy to say, but he's professional. And right now, this table's playing pretty well. Well, let's just say that the players don't seem to have a problem adjusting to it today. Nope, They're not nope. hanging out the balls. They were... Uh, during the 10 ball, the first couple days of the 10 ball. That shot right there was a classic eight ball shot because he just sort of played it somewhere, not exactly specific, just to get up table because uh, you'd think that he was playing for maybe the six ball, but he could play the three ball or the seven ball or the five ball. So go ahead and, go ahead and take care of the six. I think, you get, again, there's a, that's one of those balls that it's the side pocket ball. It clears, it'll clear out the, the pathway, so. But if he plays the five, then he's probably playing the six next. Let's see what he does. See if he ever gets that. Or the seven one, because the se the six goes in the lower left hand corner. Yeah. And it's 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 a good key shot for the eight to get on the eight. There we go. I think he I, I think he really wants to get that six ball out of there. He plays it now he's because just, he doesn't want to be over it. Right. He well, and he doesn't want to be playing on something weird where he's got to go into the the wrong way, like going into the, these stripes or anything like that. He has to shoot the yeah. six. <laughs> Viewers are probably saying, why does he have to shoot the six? Because he has to. Because he's tree topped <laughs> over it, and uh, he'll have an angle leading away from good position. And, and it for just the one it or clears the out, right? It right. clears out any path mm -hmm. that, he, he, that, uh, that he's going to have to use when he gets to the eight ball. Just stop it, I guess. Mm -hmm. Pretty much a stop. No, he just plays shape on the eight. He's got to avoid the nine, but even if he hits the nine, unless he gets behind it, he's got a shot. Yeah. Is he going behind this nine then? I, I can't tell. Can't he can tell play it both angle. ways. I think he's going to go behind it. Up and down. No, he went around it and got on the 50-yard line. He's on the wrong side of this ball. I think he undercut that that um, the the ball he the, the ball, ball he just ball? shot in there, yeah. but he should make this. He should just take a breath and just shoot it. Yeah, this is this is a high percentage shot for him. It, it is. The only thing that makes it low percentage is because he put it there when he didn't want to put it there. Mm -hmm. And so, so you have to kind of shake that out of your mind. I think you forgot that already. I th no, oh, I guess didn't. he didn't. He didn't. 
Well, he's left some shots. He, he did. He did what Mitch did uh, the second or third game. Missed the eight ball. Yeah. On the shot that he, you know, he could that. make. Yeah, if he had hung it, then Mitch would have to do some work, but he didn't hang nope. it. And then no more. It's just execution here. Well, this this is a big break for Mitch because he's time. able to make it up. He's still down a mini break, though, isn't he? Because uh, nope. No, he's, he's, he's on break. He's going to catch back up. He'll be on break. few times that I say it's okay to shoot the other ball the last ball in the side pocket there's no more balls left to negotiate so well you know keep in mind that when we talk about uh, when we've talked about shooting balls in the side pockets it's only if you're not going to have good shape we might run you know overrun it yeah and sometimes so on the wrong side but when you're guaranteed good shape like you right, was there exactly. you know no problem please shoot them <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> But when there's a lot of balls on the table, now you don't have room to run your cue Correct. ball around cleanly. Yep. And we're tied at four. We are tied. That was a huge game. Like every game's huge now. We've hit the halfway point. We've got to eight games. Chris had every opportunity to run out there. And yeah, and you threw me for a loop there. I thought. I, I was pretty sure that, that Chris was going to be breaking, and uh, you let me believe. I can't remember what, what it was that made me think that Mitch <laughs> was going to be breaking uh, for whatever reason. Well, he just broke from okay. going on a break. He went mm -hmm. to a break to break. Mm -hmm. So it's Chris's break because Chris is one that won the lag. We, I'm the one that made the comment that that's the first lag he loses. That's Mitch. right. That's right. <laughs> Either way, the score is tied. Chris will be breaking, and it's a race to eight. They're halfway there. They are halfway there. And we're about halfway there on time-wise, too, so we're doing good. We're eight minutes ahead of schedule. <laughs> no, I just kid about the time. The, the matches are scheduled every two hours. And so basically the point I was making that we have two hours between matches and these guys are going to be a little short of that if they keep going the way they're going. Big break here from Chris Mr. Robinson. Robinson. I was trying to make up a name for him. He's going to make this call through. No, the ball did not go in. What a spread. These balls are spread out pretty nice. Well, because of the position of the three ball... I'm taking solids. I think so. Let's see what Mitch thinks. Yeah, if he had some other ball to shoot, like the maybe the five ball, he might start with that. Because the four ball is tough for, for the low balls. Mm -hmm. But you can play a combination afterwards. He's gonna you could play the two, three but then the four ball still is tough. He's got to be careful playing the combination with the two that the two ball doesn't roll over to the left of the pocket on the back rail and he has no shot on it. Because if he makes the, the combo, his next shot will probably be the two. I think he's going to play the five ball. Let's see. Correct the window. Five ball it is. I think what he, by shooting this, it tells me that he's had no problem with the four ball, whether he shoots it up table or not. He'd like to tickle that nine ball out of there, but maybe he doesn't need well, to. He can, he can actually play the, play the six ball into the three ball and not worry about clearing that ball, you know, leaving it in the jaws. No, he's playing the two ball. Playing the two ball and following forward, he could play the six ball afterwards. Play the six ball or he can go rail first. He's got to move the nine for the four. Yes. 
six. He calls the six, of course. And he's playing for the seven. Didn't get there, but I think he can work playing this, playing the four ball and then sliding over. Oh, he had the wrong angle to slide over. Slide over now. Oh, he's going to have to slide over. Rail first between the six and uh, seven and the and the fifteen. No, I think he draws it into the fourteen. I mean, into the fifteen ball next to it, trying to get there. He'll try to go right between the fifteen and the seven. Well, that's what I said. Between the oh, seven. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. He'll go rail. There you go. There he he got there. Sometimes I just don't listen to what you're saying, Freddie. <laughs> apparently. And if he's straight enough, or if he's straight, I think he just follows forward to play the eight ball up table by the 12 ball. Yeah. Nicely done. For the lead in the match. And a mini break. Boy, he hit that one with authority, didn't he? No slow roll there. That's uh, some serious confidence in your straight stroke. <laughs> Goodness. Well, you know, I was I was talking to Mitch uh, after his loss to Shane in the ten ball, and he says he's playing a lot of pool now, um, and yeah, that he's good. able to travel and play all the tournaments he wants, and it's still working. So it's working out real good. In case he does does make it to the Moscone on the Moscone team, he'll have time to uh, do all the boot camps, do all the well traveling that that will be required of him. Well, that'll be quite an experience if he does the boot camp, but he does does it with Johan. Yep. Goodness, he can write with write those memoirs down for his grandkids. That's funny. I'm looking at that rack of eight Doesn't ball. It, it, it looks it like there's look a, well. No, what I was going to say was it looks like there's more balls than 15 there. <laughs> but yeah, every time we've looked at this rack, it looks it crooked. looks crooked. I know. I think it's <laughs> it's, it's our, our angle. It's our screen. It's the angle of the camera. Wow. Do you see how fast these balls are moving? <laughs> I know they're thinning now. <laughs> well. There's there's a shot for the seven up on top. Uh, it's the only shot he has to the right side of your screen. To the left side of your screen, he's only got the four ball the, or the, the ball right down by the three. He's going to stare at this two ball. Well, he's already looked at it because he's shooting the seven, uh, yeah, the seven, seven ball. ball yeah. The two must pass the eight ball. Yep. Where are you going? For the two ball. <laughs> no, not, not really. I, I fooled you. Uh, well, six ball. That was really an interesting first shot because he did hit it fairly firm. Yeah, he couldn't he, tell where he was going. He clipped the, he, the 13 ball. Missed it. Missed it thick. He uh, clipped the 13 going by. Oh, he did. And, okay, yeah, he and, did. And it, it changed the trajectory of the ball so he didn't get shape on the two. Looks like he was playing shape for the two or the four. Thing. The two ball was his toughest ball on the table, and if mm -hmm. it goes, he'd definitely be playing down there. If it, it passed the eight. Yeah, I can't tell if it does or not from here. Well, Chris has a, he's got to make this first shot. Balls are open for him. 13 in the corner. Feels like he should hit this at that pocket speed pace. Very nice. Nice done, shot. Yeah. Never, never touch never the doubt. rail. Never doubt. Never yeah. touch the rail. Clean as a whistle. Why do they have that saying? I don't know, because if you, 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 know, you use you a, whistle, clean a whistle, it's never clean, is it? <coughs> well, straight in on the 10 would be absolutely perfect. Stop shot. Well, he's straight enough. Straight adjacent. Send this into the deuce, get the clear the two two ball yep. out of there, and he's got a shot on the twelve and then the eight. 
Feels like he should look over there and see how full he needs to hit this too. But if he hit it like that. Yeah, it's, <laughs> yeah his angle to do that was just like uh, right on. Oh, don't do that. I'll be over a ball. Yeah, he just Elevate. stunned it right on top of a ball and a back cut. You want these things to be as easy as possible. I, I like so bunting the eight ball in. You're trying to think that you're trying to say this is skid prone. It is definitely skid prone, but I like the way he that, stroked it me. there. <laughs> I like the way he stroked it. Me, I would have been soft pedaling it. Yeah, I'd, I'd well, be at the first diamond. <laughs> well, that's just it. If you soft pedal that shot, uh, yeah, you're yeah, skid you're, prone. You're, you're skid prone. If you stroke it, you're not. Good Tied out. Five. Very good out. Tied at five and breaking. Has the break been an advantage for either of these two players? I don't think so. I mean, in the sense that breaking and then actually running out from there. Yeah, we had a break and run. Did Chris have his first one was a break the and run? first one was yeah. a break and run, but uh, I don't know that any other ones. There's Rory Hendrickson, runner-up two years ago in the USA Ball Championship. Where he played his uh, protege, Shane Van Boney, yeah. in the finals. His fishing protege. Fishing protege. <laughs> I thought he kind of mentored him a he little did. bit in the pool, too. He did. Uh, Shane said that Rory was really the professional in his area that took him under his wing. Take a good look here. Chris is looking Chris around has, for some reason. He's called John to the I, arena. I believe he's going to ask if he can break the second ball because he's coming to the side rail here. He's not going to break him big, apparently. Doesn't want to spread him open in case he breaks dry? I think so. I don't know if he's asking for a ruling because it looks like from here he's going to actually hit the head ball. But let's see if he hits the second ball. It certainly looks like he's going to hit the second ball with the, the 12 ball as we view it. No, nope, he hit he the hit head, head ball. ball. He hit the head ball, and guess what? Dry. Dry. I can tell you right now, Chris, you're going to have a hard time making a ball from there. From there on the on, head ball. On the head ball. And then, I mean, unless you're making the head ball to the side pocket, and you generally don't hit them that hard to it, do that. For some right? reason, you can play the head ball to the side pocket in nine ball, yeah. and it seems to work. But in eight ball, it doesn't. It always goes high. There's more, more mass behind it, I guess. Yep. So it bounces up higher. What the heck? <laughs> There's some. We got some hysterical, hysterical uh, fans <laughs> here. <laughs> All right. Who is it? I don't know. Yeah. Somebody's having fun. You guys are missing it when you're at home. You should be a Griffs. <laughs> 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 then you wouldn't be here hanging with us. That's right. And Mitch looks like he's just kind of rocking around the clock here. Four ball first, and then the seven ball. I guess he's shooting the five ball up table, but it doesn't look like a good key ball for the eight ball because now all the balls are gone on that side of the table. He needs to get on the seven ball. He might as well shoot it now. Shoot the seven and go ahead and bump the, uh, the 11 there, or the 13. Whatever ball's next Whatever to the cue balls, ball. Yeah, he's a little sharp on the seven, though, so maybe he could also draw straight back on the one, but... If he does, if he loses this one ball here, that would just he be better disastrous. Shoot you know, so, he's there now for it. He, he, this is something odd because, as I was saying, he, he's, he's ready to rock around the clock and he started making balls, but he, these balls haven't moved down here, and now is the first time he's trying to find the pattern to get to the eight ball. You have to travel the skew ball. He's playing the seven. Is Four, he going to bump the nine? Thirteen. No, yeah, he's going to bump 13. thirteen. Perfect. The thing is, with that shot, he's just covered an area where you probably could have one shot at getting the eight ball. So, where does he play the one? This uh, plays the eight to the side and takes uh, that three ball up table. Up table. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. And if actually, if he if he's forced to go to the right side of the five, he can just slide over to the Two. side rail and play the eight ball in the same pocket as he's going to play the five. Let's see how he does. Let's see how he does this. Did he come up short then? Uh, does he have that? He's Oh, that 12 ball. 12 ball is right in the way, right? He does have it, though. Yeah, he does. He just puts a little 
Make sure he doesn't run into 12. It slides right over to there. He's okay. He's got to stare at this well because what can happen is he goes all the way to the rail. Yeah. And he's okay. He'll be straight in against the rail. Feels like he's or just he going right to the 12 gonna, ball. And just take it up, up to the other corner? I would think so. Oh, no. Now, now he's behind it. No, I. <laughs> no, see that was. I mean, it was tricky, all the way tricky, and the, a couple ball the thirteen didn't come into play. It was, the twelve ball was always there. What did come into play that those balls did not move before he even went down there. That was tricky enough. Well, what he did Stuff. there was he tried to bump the ball to stop the cue ball, yeah. and he hit the side of it, and it kind of went up, a up a little, and it uh huh, up a little, a little and over, up a little over. Apparently he can see a piece of this, he's saying, and he's going to try to bank it up and down the Warp table. Warp speed? He's got to be. What a shot. And he's hung the ball again <laughs> in that. Wow. <laughs> I thought that was going in. Why not? I thought that was going in. That would have gone in on any other nine-foot tape. Well, no, because yeah. the, the one next to it's tighter Sorry. in the house. Well, here goes Chris with an opportunity to steal another game. Sure. Another hung, hung, another hung, hung eight ball. ball. And they're tied at five. He can kind of just make this ball, and he's got either the nine or either of those balls in the side pocket. Uh, I would call this being in the home stretch here, wouldn't you? Yeah. With three games left? Yeah, sure, for sure. He needs to get straight in one of these balls so he can draw over for the 14. I think he's just realized that he doesn't have a good angle here. He's got three balls that he can get two with. with. All right, he's got an angle. He's going to go following all the way across. Hmm. Doesn't want to get straight. Wow, how did he get down there? I don't know, but... Um, I mean, he's got a safety valve here. Right? He just makes us and follows and take a tough, rails, yeah. tough ish. 12, shot on but the 12. It won't be that toughish. I guess when he shot that ball, it must have curved out the cushion a little bit with the follow because he ended up way over there. I think he gets up All for right. this uh, 12. Good, good position. Yeah. Ooh. Hop and over. There you go. All right, there you go. Yeah. Now everything is a throw in. Pseudo throw in. Pseudo throw in. Is he straight on this ball? He needs to be able to not be straight. I guess not. So he can mm. follow for it. He doesn't have to fall forward too far for the 10. He went quite a ways. In fact, he followed forward, forward all the way for the 11. 11. And the 11 ball probably is the right ball. That's the thing about this eight ball. Once you commit to going out, you're up against it if you don't get all the way oh, out. Oh, sure. Well, at this level, if, if, if your opponent yeah. hangs the eight, you better get you, out. You, that's right. Because right. they're going to kick it in. Unless you put a ball on top of it. Right. Six to five. And Mitch is breaking. Chris owns the mini break. No mini break. Mm-hmm. No, because Mitch is breaking and he's, oh, they're, uh, he's they're on break. They're on break. Okay. They're on serve. You are correct. Big break coming up from Mitch. <laughs> His last break was one of the. I mean, balls were going <laughs> fast. You know, they didn't just break apart. Like every ball seemed to be going fast. That doesn't seem possible mm -hmm. because three balls in the center don't aren't touching anything. <laughs> Here we go. Well, Rear back and fire. We've got 39 players in this eight ball. Not as fast this time, but still, a ball goes in. Two balls go in. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. Oh no! Yeah, yeah. Two balls go in. He's got a shot, and if he makes this, the 14 ball, he should get out. We have three players under 700 Fargo's. 
And uh, is it CSI that's determined, or, or just uh, who's determined that 720 is about the cutoff for a pro player? Oh, I don't know. I, I just assume that's, that. that's part of Fargo. Yeah. So he's got to remember that he's got a 15 ball down table here. He should be able to get to it very soon because the 11 ball is hanging. The only thing tricky about the 15 ball is that if he gets on the bottom side of your screen, he has to have a window. Yeah. The other side, he's got it completely open, and it goes to either corner pocket. This is a tricky rack because, he's for a couple of reasons, uh, he doesn't have a decent, a really good key ball here. He's got shape on the 15 through the window. Correct. This next ball is the 13 ball. After the 14, you see where it sits? I think he wants side to put this. Pocket. Yeah, that's the problem. If he goes to the side pocket, he's running away. He, did he come up far enough? I see, he's running uh, away. I would have liked him going around that three ball. So here's the situation where an amateur is not not really favored in this position because he's got to run this ball away. Mm -hmm. But it ran. It was good. I can, it was good. Okay. He's all right. But it's not, it's, uh, he should be able to make this. Good out. We're tied. Break and run. He was forced to have that as his key ball, and he had a nice pathway to go around. Mm -hmm. Most of the Moscone Cup candidates are here. We've got Brandon Schuff in front of us. I believe that Donnie Mills is playing. Josh Roberts is playing right now. Both these two on the streaming table are candidates for Moscone Cup. You know, I was talking with, with someone earlier, and uh, they said that there's an updated list from the one that we have. Oh, okay. Because some, well, I think I think this is it. Okay, Chris hit broke from the side again, and as we can see, this table is not very wide open. He's going to have to do some negotiating. They all went up table. I think if he can find a way to pocket the stripe ball above the twelve ball like off the 12 ball, as long as he doesn't tie up the 12 ball, that's the only danger, because right now the 12 ball actually goes, and if he hits it off something, it may, he may kiss this 12 ball right on top of the seven ball when he doesn't need to be, well, he doesn't want to be breaking mm -hmm. up anything. All right, but it looks like he's actually forced to play this. Well, when you say most of the Moscone Cup candidates are here, it's 12 of the 14. 12 of the 14. The only one not here is Justin Bergman and Justin Hall. There must be a Justin thing going on. They're barred. <laughs> so it, it looks like he's, he's uh, going to take the tougher, tougher ball, the one ball, and negotiate. Every ball actually does go, the six ball, the seven ball. Hold it. I think he solved this. Right into the 12 ball. Tying up two of Mitch's balls. Thank you very much. <laughs> he's not real appreciative. If this six ball is straight in, I wouldn't mind shooting that. To the corner? Yeah, and I also wouldn't mind taking the magic ball rack out of there because you have a couple of balls that have to kind of go through there. Yeah, he's going to have to lift the four. Hey, you want someone to lift this up? <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Barely have to lift it just to slide that mm -hmm. out of there, but. Just in case you lift that ball and you know, <laughs> move it out of the way. <laughs> no, just teasing. If the two ball goes past the four, I think Chris is going to play the six ball and slide to the two. Because the seven ball, I, he may just make the seven. I don't believe the two ball goes yeah, past the four. Okay. It doesn't appear to from here. And, and he's not looking at playing right. the six. And therefore, he'll play the four or five ball and go down for the four ball. So reason to yeah and he, can <laughs> wow, he get did he get it? there it's close but i think he's got if there. he's not he's got he can go uphill but he's got there 
Ooh. I oh. thought he was <laughs> I thought he was playing for those other balls, but I then he got a little loose because he didn't really take a look at them. That little oh, one of those trouble. shots where you say, I'm, I'm going to just draw back somewhere over here. Surely I'm going to have a shot on the ball. And maybe, suddenly, maybe. suddenly uh, he's he didn't in trouble. see either. He's going to have to draw this ball in, in between into both those, of them. Into them both. Into those balls. Pushing the sixth move. ball to the side and the seventh to the corner. Which one would you rather? Yeah, I guess you'd rather touch the six before the seven. Yes. That keeps them both in the open. If you touch the seven first, you could get you could get in trouble because yeah. you would be above the he's six. He's not ball. going that way. He's he's going above them. Oh, okay. So if he does, oh, the seven one of those ball balls goes, goes. Down to the bottom. Yeah. yeah. All right. One of them goes. Go. Okay. That's nice. I didn't think, for some reason, I didn't think they went to the bottom and had to be uh, shot up. From the other position, it never looked like the seven ball passed. Okay. <laughs> so we're not crazy. Okay. Well, wait a second. That doesn't prove anything, does it? No. <laughs> Shoot. It says I'm not crazy. <laughs> Speak for yourself. That's right. <laughs> but thank you for uh, you validating my uh, sameness. Yeah. <laughs> Good shot there. Yeah, I, I, right nice up. pattern. I. Comes right up for the Next eight. time we see this on YouTube, I'll be looking like, oh yeah, that seven ball went all day long. <laughs> <laughs> Break and run for Chris Robinson, uh, and he did come off the side rail again. It was a very, very not open rack, not like Mitch's racks, but he negotiated. Now he's going to be on the hill. Chris Robinson is on the hill, and Mitch Ellerman. Break. Yeah, the crowd is appreciative. That was a tricky out. It was really a nice eight ball out. We have a knowledgeable crowd. We do. You can walk in here right now and get all the action you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're in Las Vegas. There should be people making bets all day long. We're in the Las Ve we're in Las Vegas, and we've got a pool room full of players. Not only world class players. We've got the local hustlers here in town. <laughs> well, if if Mitch breaks the balls hard as he usually does, he better make a ball. His opponent's on the hill. He does not want to give up um, the table. Yeah. He can. He really can't afford to. Uh, uh, let Chris back to the table without being heel heel with him. He's got to have that pressure. Ooh, the five ball went back in the rack. He's got a shot on the five ball. Interesting because it's taking the magic rack out is going to be the, the challenge here. And you got to make sure this. Oh, yeah, there you go. Mitch says, been there, done that. <laughs> Not a problem. Five ball it is, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Does he go up for the six ball next? Six or the one? No, he's going to. Oh. And that might be. My the spell doom. The costliest. My spell doom. The only shot he had uh, is the six, unless the two ball goes. If you'd have made the five. You're right. I don't oh, know. Oh, the seven. The seven, the but yeah. I mean, it's it's not easy. Yeah. Not to say it's not easy. Of course it's easy, but it's not the easiest. Well, the two ball looks like it might go by. It probably does go by. In fact, it does. Well, no. He's going to. I think Chris has forgotten that it's open still. Because he's going to. Oh, he can't see the two. Yeah. Because if, uh, if he doesn't realize this. Yeah, because okay, now he's checking. He should be playing, I think, the 11-5 combination. You know, a lot of players forget that, that they, they, they can play the combo. Do something like that. If mm -hmm. you can see the two, he plays the two. These guys wouldn't forget. He likes the two ball. He sees all of the two. Well, if he likes the seven or the six, he's got both of them to shoot at now. Yeah, he didn't give himself a choice, did he? No. Seven in the corner, maybe. So we can see the four ball is the tough ball on the table. Might be shooting the, you might be shooting the seven, the one. I mean, the six, the seven, the one, the seven. And then the four, five mm -hmm. combination. Correct. And come down. 
Yeah, oh, he, hello. I mean, he had an uncomfortable bridge, and that, you know, the, it was, it, it, it's so funny because it, it's not a hard shot, but suddenly an eight ball, it becomes a harder shot. <laughs> It's funny how, it, you know, you're in rotation, you would never miss that ball. Yeah, for the most part, you're, I mean, so favored to make it, but sure. that, now you got to hold the right ball, right pattern. Uh, now he's, he's limited himself. He's going to come back and play shape for the 11 on the side. Chris is going to really be. What are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> he likes to hit him hard. Well, I thought he was just going to play shape for it, shoot it, and then move the 12, but he didn't. He broke out the, he broke out the 11. I'm wondering if it's because the A-ball doesn't go anywhere. I mean, it goes someplace, but to get position, like if he was shooting A-ball from here, but the reality is that you'd have to put it in a really tough position he, to shoot a tough eight. He, he doesn't, he's gonna have a hard time getting a shot on the eight. And the fact that he has to shoot the <laughs> 11 ball next is tough. Yeah. What is he going to do here? He's going to come down and get shape on the 13. Straight kiss, back kiss up. Kiss the 8? Yeah. No, no, he no, he's not. There. If he kisses the 8, he kills himself. Exactly. He kills his shape. Oh, he's just uh, not He's in trouble. Just not he's, in trouble. he's struggling. You know, he's, he's scrambling. He's definitely scrambling. He's scrambling, not, not struggling. I think he's going to just stop the, f the 15 and take the 13 on the side, go three rails, and get to somewhere like where he is now to shoot the eight ball. It's gonna be a tough eight ball no matter mm, what, I think. I, uh, is there an easy eight ball that you see? I don't see about one. The only thing I see is him leaving the cue ball down in line with the five that's in the corner pocket uh -huh. and banking it to the side. Oh, well, if he, was in the, if he was in this position, I think he can make the eight, or even, let's say, in the side, if in the center of the table. I, I think he, the four ball's too close. Okay. To cut that ball, look how far he's got to cut that ball to make it, and that four <laughs> ball is so close. It may well be questionable. Let's you might just go up and bump the bump the one with the cue ball to get on the 13 and follow down for a bank, or somehow get down there for a bank. Or follow the five. Follow the five, and I'm not gonna shoot that <laughs> shot. That's a, those are tough shots, those are. No, see, he's, he's I, think, are, I think he's playing my shot. Cue okay. ball to the center of the table and take a tough shot. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh no! And here's his bank. <laughs> now he wasn't playing; he was playing no, the breakout. Yeah, he was trying to play but, the into the four ball or something, right? But he got there for the bank. Problem is, the cue ball tracks to the corner pocket. He got you know, jack up. And this, he's you know, his opponent's on the hill. That's right. A miss here, and uh, you got your first loss. Yeah, a bit of a scramble here. And even, even he's going to have to jack up and put a little draw on this ball. Catch the three yeah. ball or something. No, I guess not. No, he's okay with it. He's, he's looked at it, and I guess it, it doesn't track to the corner. The oh, side he's going to cut it. In the, oh. oh. That would have been pretty miraculous because the side pocket is so small, but it looked like he was really close. Yeah. Well, I to, Chris would have to, I mean, I mean, anything can happen, well, especially when you stroke them like that when all you have to do is keep bunting balls. Color me crazy for thinking that he was going to have to bank that ball. He shot it straight to the side. Straight to the side. Yeah. Yeah, I just, I don't understand that first shot where he just power drawed it out when every ball is just kind of hanging there. Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. <laughs> Looks like he likes to draw balls also. It's a younger set. <laughs> Not until they're, they, they're, they get Efren's age that they start following the ball. Maybe. I have no idea what he's doing here. Well, he's, he's risking. If he follows this in, he's not going to like his eight ball. I cannot believe that that is the pattern he, he ended up with for this, this run. Of course, he's going to listen to this and say, Freddie, what are you talking about? But now he fades a lot of things here. And now he's way down table. Of course, he should make this, but this is not an easy table. It's tight pockets. I mean, I'm old and I can't see and I can't shoot anyway. I'd rather be like by the side pocket on this cue ball. Yeah, this is a back cut. You just got to hit this fairly, low. Fairly routine shot. Pocket, pocket speed, and he's out. 
Chris Robinson moves on, winning over Mitch Ellerman, eight to six. First round. We'll see in a couple of uh, somethings. 35 minutes. <laughs> 